Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Well Friday. All right, guys, welcome back to Up and Adam Channel 2, where you get all the extra coverage. And today it's about Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright. Um, I don't know why I'm talking with my head like this, but that's okay. Go on, Bobblehead. Um, <laughs> I've had espresso. I'm sorry. Guys, we have lots to talk about, lots to discuss. I hope you watched Hot Messy Topics earlier. Um, we had a big announcement, and I also posted it on Instagram. Go back and watch it and definitely give me your full, honest opinion. Um, I'm excited. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But with that, smash the like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and let's jump right in. All right, guys, where do we begin? Right here. Boom. Look at this face. A face only a mother could love. Thank you to Paige. I'm just kidding, guys. Relax. Thank you to Page Six. Jax Taylor's co stars jokingly renamed his sports bar after his estranged wife, Brittany Cartwright, while he's in treatment. Would a bar by any other name still serve strong drinks? Jax Taylor's co-stars jokingly rename his sports bar Jax's Studio City after his estranged wife, Brittany Cartwright, while he's in treatment. Now, Brit's bar, just for fun, huh? Such a fun night setting up a little bar makeover for our girl at Brittany at, at Jax Studio City. And we always say hashtag Brit's bar, so why not make it a reality? Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Well, this is the photo. It's actually... First of all, I'm wondering if he's going to be pissed. I'm sure he's going to be pissed about this, but it was actually really cute how they did it. Now, though they reiterated the post was all in good fun, the pair added a vote option to it, asking their followers if they felt the establishment should remain Jax's or be changed to Brit's. And at the time of the publication, 96% of 1,871 voters thought the bar should be renamed. P.S. A huge shout out to at Alpha. Alpha Lit Los Angeles and Picnic and Pedal for the Brits Marquee. Okay, that's how they ended their caption. Um, the photos in the upload showed that Brittany Cartwright, well, she was there with Naya, Wick, um, Zach Wickham, and Kristen Doty, all of whom were rocking black Brit Studio City t shirts as they posed in front of a massive light up sign that read the same. And Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright, who have their three year old son Cruz, opened up about the poorly reviewed sports bar in October of 2023 as cameras rolled for season one of the Vanderpump Rules spinoff show. Four months later, Brittany announced via her and Taylor's joint podcast that they were separating after nearly five years of marriage. And in April, Taylor, Jax, insisted that he was definitely working on himself in the hopes of winning Britney back. However, the following month, he then claimed that the two were open to possibly dating other people. Now, he then checked himself into a mental health facility last month, and Jax has always been candid about his mental health struggles, especially during the past few months on his podcast. He has made the decision to seek inpatient treatment. That's what his rep told page six at the time. And this is a particularly sensitive time for him and his family. They ask for privacy and respect until he is ready to speak more on this matter. The next day, Jax Taylor took to his Instagram to reveal his motivation for seeking help. And he said, Cruz, Cruz is his motivation, which is amazing. Now in June, the Vanderpump Rules alum revealed that and this was on their joint podcast that he met an absolutely amazing female doctor at Jax's studio city. I went in there and I literally just broke down. I'm like, this is what's wrong with me. And this is what I'm doing. And this is who I'm attacking. And I have serious, serious anger issues. And I have a child and I don't want him to see me act like that. And Brittany added that they were trying to exhaust everything else before divorcing. But earlier this month, while Jax Taylor was away, it was reported that, well, she's been hanging out with Tanner Cortad who has been um, tagging along as Britney films The Valley Season 2. Now, though she has yet to address the status of her relationship with The Bachelorette alum, Cartwright did recently put 
Jax Taylor on blast for allegedly lying about his plans to donate his cameo earnings to cancer research. And a source told People magazine earlier this week that although Britney was supportive of Jax Taylor's decision to seek help for their son's sake, she's not interested in having anything to do with him moving forward. She's like, I don't want to be around your ass. I have no interest. I'm not a fan of yours. I'm not buying what you're selling. You're supposed to be getting help. Are you really getting help? Are you not getting help? Are you pretending like you're getting help just so you have the public opinion sway in your favor? I mean, there's so many things that she could, it could possibly be just like going on through her mind. And I don't blame her for that. I'm like, yeah, it's true. Is she getting help? Is he getting help? Are they group counseling? I don't fucking know. But if I was married to somebody like Jax Taylor, yeah, your ass would be going to a therapist. I also don't have to worry about that because I would never be married to somebody like Jax Taylor. Anyways, moving on. So on top of this, Thank you again to Page Six. Lisa Vanderpump hits back at Raquel Levis's Vanderpump Rules criticism, saying she doesn't quite understand. Lisa Vanderpump clapped back at Rachel Raquel Levis for saying that she would only return to Vanderpump Rules if they paid for her therapy. She said she said that, but I think she has a therapist on hand the whole time through filming. Hmm. The Vanderpump Rules matriarch added that Bravo was very cognizant of the cast members' needs and being there even when you're filming, saying somebody's available for you to talk to. Now, that's what's funny to me because her demands were to have a therapist on hand. I don't know if she wants her own solo therapist, but at the end of the day, I've always been under the impression, and I'm friends with a lot of the Bravo talent. Um, I've always been under the impression that they have access and the tools that they need to talk to the people that they need to talk to when they're not feeling the best about themselves or something that happened or something that's being drummed up from their, their past. Like they have people that Bravo supplies them with that they can talk to. So I didn't really understand Raquel's request of, I need a therapist and you guys need to pay my bills. If you want me to can come back to the show. It's like, girl. Bravo don't need you. You need Bravo. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Now, <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Now, Raquel previously starred on the hit Bravo show, but chose not to return for season 11 amid backlash for her affair with Ariana Maddox's then-boyfriend, Tom Sandoval. Even though Raquel Levis is now expressing interest in returning for season 12, Lisa Vanderpump doesn't think it makes sense for her to rejoin the cast. It's hard to integrate somebody into a situation like this. As I say, you can never say never, but she's had a lot of negative things to say about Vanderpump Rules, about producers, about NBC. So I think we can safely say that ship has sailed. Yeah. It would take all expense paid therapy is what Raquel said. I would need a therapist on call and therapy sessions after every single filming session. I just don't know if I see a path forward because it's not a healthy dynamic. And I'm just trying to protect my mental health. And I'm trying to live my authentic life. But while Raquel truly believes her time on Vanderpump Rules is complete, she's not ruling out a return to reality TV altogether. She teased that she could see herself doing a competition show. Hmm. We can reassess in a few years and see what the next projects are. Okay. Guys, honestly, I want to hear what your thoughts are. I don't even care about Raquel at this point. I did want to add that in, but if anything, I'm more into the Jackson and Brittany of it all. Guys, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And also, if you didn't check out Hot Messy Topics earlier, there's a fun little surprise in there. So go check that out. Love you guys. See you next time.